And so today we have evangelist Mario Morello, and I'm so excited, Mario, to have you on the program today because you, you just have lived the heart of God in this way for for years and years and are being such a forerunner right now where you know we see oftentimes big crusades in other uh, nations and that and you know many people coming to know christ and but this is happening in america right yes. now and i'm so flipped yeah. out about it and so let let our audience know what you're doing right now and and some of the um the great testimonies that have that, that have been coming forth recently well, first of all, Patricia, what an honor to be with you. And I know you have the same exact heart as I do for the lost. And so this is, this is exciting news. You know, I have been doing this for a long time. I also was a kid when the first spiritual tidal wave hit California and thousands and tens of thousands of young people began to be born again. I got to tell you in all honesty, because I was there, you know, it's almost like you sit on the beach and you can tell when a wave is coming because you've seen it before. California is going to be visited stronger than it was during the Jesus movement. Woo. And I have several, you know, I, it's not just blowing smoke. I mean, it's, it's factual. For the first time, you know, we brought our tent to Bakersfield. And you, you talk about a city that's been hit. Uh, my friend, Manuel Carrizales, who reaches out to the gangs in the inner city, feeds the poor like no one I've ever seen. Uh, he had to supervise 57 funerals last year for young men that were killed in drive-by shootings in the city of Bakersfield. It, it's out-and-out uh, -out war. It's killing fields. Our workers, another hero, Frank Saldana, inner city action, amazing man of God. We all partnered together and we invaded Bakersfield. And because of a, a church called Canyon, Canyon Hills in Bakersfield, we got to use a lot in the heart of the city, put up our tent. We had 800 chairs up before we knew it. A half hour before we began the service, there were 800 people on the inside. We had to set up five hundred more chairs on the outside. This is Bakersfield in January. We had a major drug dealer come with a huge bag of marijuana buds, just a, a street value we can't even calculate. He, he interrupts me in the middle of my sermon and says, I have got to get saved. And he hands me the bag of marijuana and it fell out of my hand onto the floor and he began stomping it. I mean, this was his livelihood. He was so born again. We I had uh, autumn. I Go saw ahead. that video, and it it just makes me want to cry, you know, because it's it's the power of God's love transforming a life. And can can our viewers find that on your YouTube channel? Or yes, yes, yeah. they can. All, all they got to do actually is go to mariomarillo.org, and they'll see all the videos that we have. It'll connect them to our YouTube channel. Can you imagine? that our next tent crusade is gonna be in Modesto. And we already, we had to get a tent twice the size of the one we now own to accommodate what we know is gonna happen in Modesto. This is something you've, we've not heard of since Billy Graham. And I'm not comparing myself to Billy Graham. I'm comparing what God is doing to what was happening with Dr. Graham. We have registered one, thousand pastors and leaders for a luncheon in Manteca, right next to Modesto, unprecedented. And they're, they're saying, we want the word of the Lord. We want to invade California. We want to bring about a change. It's going to be an amazing move of God. It begins on April 23rd. And the date of the luncheon, I'm not advertising it because it's sold out, but I'm saying the date is March 4th, Thursday. So the army of God is going to march forth on March the 4th. And that's why I chose that date. It's an amazing moment, Patricia. It's really and amazing. I just want to invite our viewers to be in prayer for that too. And everything that God's doing, because when the enemy comes in, like a flood, wherever you want to put the comma is good with me, uh, God will raise up a standard again. Yes, he will. And that's what's happening right now, because we've had a, a, a flood 
of circumstances right now in our nation that could be very disturbing if we didn't know the Lord. But the Lord is going to raise up the standard against everything that the enemy is trying to do. His word will always prevail. His name will always prevail. And we are not going to back down in this hour. We are going to exalt the name of Jesus and we are going to see lives transformed. And when a heart is transformed from the inside out, it doesn't matter who you are. You could be a drug dealer on the street or you could be a single mom or you could be someone on the way to the abortion clinic or you could be a politician or a big business owner. But when God reaches into your heart, everything changes from that point on. You start thinking differently, you start living differently, and your vocabulary is different, your behaviors are different, everything is different, because that's how great our God is. And uh, what an evangelist you are, what a soul winner you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me, Mario, how did you come to burn with this passion for the lost? You know, when I was saved, uh, back, I'm going to say in the year 19, none of anybody's business. But when I was saved, I was saved during the uh, the civil rights movement, the free speech movement, and the drug revolution. And the fire of God burned in me. In fact, I, I'm telling this story in the, you know, in a new book that I don't want to describe. I'm just mentioning it because I was reminded of it. I was saved on a Sunday night and I was in the junior in, uh, in high school. And I went to school the next morning. I got there 90 minutes early, just when a gang was shooting up heroin. And uh, we called it a shooting gallery back in the day. And I wasn't supposed to see it. And they had to, they had to dispose of me because I was an eyewitness. And the, of course, back then, the criminal charges against heroin were severe. So they, they started, they got in a circle around me. And the night before, I'd only learned one verse. And it, I had a little Gideon New Testament fit in my shirt pocket. And the verse I learned is greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world. Uh -huh. And they got around me, Patricia, and they started handing this knife around so that I wouldn't know who killed me. And it's literally the truth. I'm standing there terrified. And I hear a voice, which I learned later was the voice of God. He said, yell the verse that you memorized put my hand over this little New Testament and began shouting as loud as I could over and over again. Greater is he who is in me than he that is in the world. I didn't want to open my eyes. I just kept yelling, but I opened my eyes in time to see him running in all directions. They just took off running. And I went from abject fear to thinking, well, who am I that the devil wants me dead less than 12 hours since I was born again? Well, let me tell you, 14 of my friends were saved in two weeks. I never even heard the word witnessing, Patricia, until after I had led 14 of my friends to the Lord. And that just never got, there's no, there's no feeling on earth like winning a soul. There's nothing. 